Hey everyone, my name is Randy Lee and I'm an environmental engineer. As concerns about the environment continue to grow, more students are considering majors that allow them to make a positive impact on the planet. Two popular majors in this area are environmental engineering and environmental science. While these two majors do share some similarities, there are also significant differences between them that can influence which one is better for you. So in this video, I want to discuss something I've already talked about a few years ago. We will explore the pros and cons of majoring in environmental engineering versus environmental science. My perspective on this topic hasn't changed too much since the first video, but I did get more insight based off of more years of work experience. Do be aware though that this is coming from the perspective of an environmental engineer. If you happen to be an environmental scientist or have majored in it, please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below and like where we differ. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's begin. Let's first start with environmental engineering. What is an environmental engineer? Environmental engineering is a branch of engineering that focuses on designing and implementing solutions to environmental problems. Environmental engineers work on a wide range of issues, from managing water resources to designing systems to reduce air pollution. So here are some of the pros and cons to majoring in environmental engineering. Let's first start off with the pros of environmental engineering. The first one is the high demand for environmental engineers. As more companies and governments seek to reduce their environmental impact, there is a growing demand for environmental engineers. This means that graduates of environmental engineering programs can expect to find job opportunities in a variety of industries including engineering, construction, and consulting. The second pro is strong job perspectives. Environmental engineers typically enjoy strong job perspectives with a medium annual salary of over 88,000 per year. I got this number off the internet. Each company could be different. Don't expect that immediately for entry levels or even at your specific location. This is just an average. The third pro is hands-on experience. Environmental engineering programs often include opportunities for hands-on experience, such as internships, co-ops, and research projects. This can be a great way to gain practical experience and make connections in the field before your actual first job. The fourth pro to environmental engineering is making a positive impact. Although this could probably apply to both the environmental scientists, environmental engineers have the opportunity to work on projects that have a real impact on the environment, such as designing systems to reduce pollution or improve water quality. Now let's head to the cons of environmental engineering. The first downside is that there's heavy emphasis on math and science. Environmental engineering requires a strong foundation in math and science, including courses such as calculus, physics, and chemistry. And this can be especially challenging for students who struggle in these topics, so if you end up failing one of these classes, you might have to repeat them or you just aren't cut out for this job. The second con is that there is rigorous coursework. Environmental engineering programs can be challenging and rigorous with demanding coursework and high expectations for academic performance. So going back to the heavy emphasis on math and science, it could be pretty hard. Even though you may want to major in environmental engineering, just the prerequisite courses and just not performing well in those classes could be your downfall. The third con is that there is somewhat limited flexibility. Environmental engineering programs tend to be more structured and less flexible than most other majors because it's pretty specific. This can make it difficult to pursue like a double major or to take elective courses outside of this major. It's because technically environmental engineering is technically underneath the civil engineering umbrella. Now let's talk about environmental science. What is an environmental scientist? Environmental science is an interdisciplinary field that examines the natural world and how it interacts with human society. Environmental science majors study a wide range of topics including ecology, geology, and climate science. So here's some pros and cons to majoring in environmental science. Let's start off with the pros first. The first pro to environmental science is that it's an interdisciplinary approach. Environmental science is an interdisciplinary field which means that students have the opportunity to explore a wide range of topics and different approaches. So it's not as limited as environmental engineering. The second pro is that it's pretty flexible. Environmental science programs tend to be more flexible than environmental engineering programs, with more opportunities for students to choose elective courses and explore different areas of interest outside of just environmental science. The third pro is that it has a pretty diverse career path. Environmental science majors can pursue a wide range of career paths including conservation, policy, research, and education. And the fourth pro is that it has some hands-on experience as well. Many environmental science programs include opportunities for hands-on experience such as internships and research projects. Pretty much the same pro as environmental engineering. And this could be a great way to gain practical experience and make connections in the field before your first entry-level job. So now let's talk about the cons of environmental science. The first and probably the largest con out here is that it has a lower starting salary. Environmental science majors tend to earn a lower starting salary than environmental engineer majors with a median salary starting at around 50,000 US dollars per year. Again, it's just an average, but for the most part, in general, 
environmental scientists do typically tend to get paid less than environmental engineers. The second con is that there is limited job perspectives. While there is a growing demand for environmental scientists, job perspectives can be limited compared to environmental engineering. Many environmental science positions are in government, education, and nonprofit sectors. So if you do know anything about those fields, it is pretty hard to get in initially. Like if you have no connections at all or no work experience, then it's nearly impossible to get your foot in the door. The third con is that there is limited job security. Environmental science jobs can be subject to funding cuts and other uncertainties, particularly in the government and nonprofit sectors. And the fourth con is that there is less hands-on experience. While environmental science programs often include opportunities for hands-on experience, they may not provide the same level of practical skills and technical training as environmental engineers. So the question is, which major is right for you? Choosing between environmental engineering and environmental science can be challenging. It's definitely important to consider your strengths, interests, and career goals when making this choice. If you're passionate about math and science, enjoy problem solving, and want to make a real impact on the environment, environmental engineering might be the right choice for you. On the other hand, if you have a broad range of interests and want to explore the intersection between the natural world and human society, environmental science may be a better fit for you. Ultimately, the most important thing is to choose a major that you are passionate about and that will provide you with the most skills and knowledge you need to make a positive impact on the environment. Both environmental engineering and environmental science offer opportunities to do this, but with careful consideration and planning, you should make the right choice for your own future. Coming from an environmental engineering perspective, honestly, you can't go wrong in either choice. We're both allies here when trying to like do our part in saving the world. It's just how much effort are you willing to put in initially when trying to acquire that degree and like what are your long-term career goals. Sometimes even I wonder and look back and think, where would I be if I had chosen environmental science? But in the end, I am glad that I chose environmental engineering and stuck with it because it's given me the opportunities that I've had today. And who knows, maybe I wouldn't have started this YouTube channel if I had chosen environmental science. So for me personally, environmental engineering is the way to go. But again, this is coming from an environmental engineer, so I am pretty biased in what I say. Hopefully these tips can help guide you in what you decide to do and what you decide to major in. I do feel like I have a pretty biased audience already, which is probably environmental engineering. But if not, it's okay. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this and where you decide to go. That's all I have for this video. See you in the next one. Goodbye.